everybody this is shade of dead and I am trying to get a new series started here uh, the series is terra firma craft now I have um, terra firma craft plus I've installed some other mods uh, to it um, and I and they're just kind of periphery mods. They don't really change the core of it. You know, I, I've got a mini map. I've got some add-ons for Terraforma Craft, NEI, a few other things that I've just kind of thrown in. Um, I'm thinking about using, but haven't really implemented yet. But I already generated one world. I've already tried this once. It didn't work. Um, it didn't work at all. <laughs> so... Uh, I, I got into a world and there is a specific resource that I just couldn't find. Uh, maybe I didn't travel far enough to find it. Fair enough, but I'd gone a long ways to try to find this one specific resource and it just was nowhere. And it was a, it's a very important one, a very early one that you actually need a lot of. And well, I said, forget it. I'm going to cut that particular world out and we're gonna make a new one so I'm gonna make a new one um, and here we go let's see we're gonna go for a random well should we put in should we put in a seed uh, let's put in my followers are Great! There we go. We'll do that. Let's see what we get. <laughs> Don't let me down, guys. This doesn't work. I blame you. We'll see. Uh, Terra Firma Craft is a completely different kind of take on Minecraft. It is much more difficult, and when you start in the... Oh my god, all my mini-map things. And I'm underwater. That sucks. Ugh. Oh my. Um, hold on. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. Um, marker options? No, back. Waypoints. Uh, these are all from my old world. Really kind of weird. Um, I guess I didn't quit and start a new one, so I did delete them. So, uh, let's see, remove. And these are all places I found. This is in my last... This is in the world that failed. Um, that I couldn't find what I needed. I found all this other good stuff. Could not find that one thing, though, that just basically ruined it for me. Alright, here we are. In the world of Terra Firma Craft. Now, this is kind of a nice place. We're in, up north a bit here. Let's see, and uh, well, I'm gonna pick up some sticks. I'm gonna pick up some rocks. Try not to fall in holes. Ooh, there's something down there already. What is that? I'm not sure what that ore is. I'm using a texture pack, and I'm using a uh, uh, resource pack for textures, and I'm using one for music. Now, Terra Firma Craft has its own custom music, but it's a little, it's really great. Um, but it does get a little. I don't know how I want to say it. We got rock, and we are in a daysite biome. Okay. And what do we got here? We got chestnut. We got more chestnut. Oh, we got some of these guys. Oh, this stuff. This is fir Douglas fir, I think. Yeah, great. Okay, we got great, great wood. And oh my god, oh my god, I see something wonderful. I'm gonna go over there and get it. This is. I'm gonna show you what I was missing in my last. Um, in that last world, the thing I couldn't find that I absolutely have to have to get any sort of progression because it just didn't exist. And that is these beautiful flowers because these beautiful flowers are goldenrods and goldenrods, they'll look different in other, uh, resource packs. Uh, and they're kind of a yellowish flower normally, but goldenrods mark the location of clay. And there is clay here. Um, and that's the thing I was missing. <laughs> I 
and I have to have clay. I mean, you start this uh, mod in basically, what do you want to say? Uh, the Stone Age. Uh, no, no, basically about it. You're in the Stone Age. We're, we're going to start banging rocks together in order to chip them away and turn them into a, a, what we need, like tools and stuff. Oh, boy. All right. And mushrooms are pretty useless in this. Uh, I don't think there is even a recipe for them uh, in... Terra Firma Craft. No, I can't do anything with them. Oh, I mean, there's... The Minecraft mushrooms are still in any eye, but they're they're not really um, a part of it. Oh, we got an ore here. We got some Galena. Okay. Not great. We're going to probably keep moving around here for a bit, um, doing a few things. More clay. See, there's what clay looks like from the side. You can see it's like marbled into the... <gasps> a pheasant. Pheasants. Female pheasant. Um, I could kill her. I think I will, actually. Just give me an axe. And you take two rocks, you bang them together, and then you chip out the shape. So you see kind of like the axe head, and here's the back end of it. And then we're going to take that, and we're going to stick a stick on it. And then we're going to have an axe. And we are basically in the Stone Age. This is how they would do it. I mean, obviously it was much more difficult than what I just did. And a lot more time consuming. You didn't just click on a click on the rock a few times to make it into the shape you wanted. You spent hours, you know, banging away at it. Uh, take you a couple days, maybe. But hey, oh, there's another pheasant. We're going to kill it for its meat, too. Now, pheasants will respawn. Uh, from what I understand, they will, over time, respawn. Um, but other things... Oh, we found some gold. Let's mark that. But other things won't. Pigs won't. Horses won't. Um, other stuff like that. I can't really tame and breed pheasants. I didn't get very... I got one ounce of meat out of pheasants. They're not very big. And my butcher skill isn't very good. Did I say butcher skill? Yes, I did. What do you mean, butcher skill? Well, you have different skills in this... Um, mod, uh, you have, eh, doo -doo -doo, where's it at? You have all of these skills. And as you use them, you get better at them. Now, I'm not finding much in the way of plants uh, as far as crops. If you're going to find crops in this world, you're going to find them just wild out in the, out and about. Okay, you're not going to just, you don't cut grass for that. Speaking of which, I should probably make me some knives. Um, again, you come back to your stone, two stones, you have to have at least two, you right click them together, and you get this, and I, now I've got a, a stone knife blades, and we'll make myself a couple of stone knives, and these are useful for a variety of reasons, most of them being, one of them being, I can cut tall grass and get myself some straw, it just makes straw. You're not going to find seeds this way. You're not going to get any seeds this way. You're only going to cut it and get straw, which is pretty cool. Which is what we want right now. Oh, oh, I found my first crop. It's not ready to be picked yet. Squash and bismuth. Okay, so let's mark this. Um, squash and bismuth. Bismuth is useful later on as we start to get into some of the other into some of the Middle Ages out of the Stone Age. Whoa. All right. And we will work on. Oh, my God. Train generation in Terra Firma Craft is actually really intensive. Now, the world, the, the ocean level is at 144. So we're talking way up there um, and that's kind of bad, actually because when it comes to train generation it's making a lot in each chunk so just a little it's making a lot and what time is it it is almost four o'clock it is four o'clock okay um, it's gonna get dark soon 
I was kind of hoping to find some food. Maybe we should go check the ocean. If nothing else, maybe I can find... It's probably too cold where I am. Um, there's actually like temperature ranges based on your z-axis or your north-south axis So the further north you go the colder it gets the further south you go the warmer it gets till there is um, Basically oh Man, I was hoping to find some seaweed until there's basically a uh, What do you call it? Uh, equator at zero uh, on the z-axis and uh, the world reflects that um, it actually even keeps track of it. green beans mature okay so look at that top line in the bottom left or in the on the left side or the bottom line on the left side we're gonna pick us some green beans these things grow really fast they're really nice to have around give me some seeds out of them uh, but we're not gonna pick them until they're ready and we're gonna mark it but you see that says rain temperature uh, average biome temperature really cold I kind of need to head south um, so we may do that here and just in the morning well as soon as I can find some place to head south on we'll do that I also have installed uh, smart move smart moving um, which is really nice. Oh, look, another pheasant. We're going to kill it since we're not going to stick around here anyway. I may as well get the meat. Give me your meat. Thank you. Um, since we're not going to stick around here, I may as well kill it and get the meat. Uh, we can probably... What time is it? It's not quite time. Oh, we found some copper. Uh, I better mark it just in case. But it's a little cold here. Um, I kind of want to head south a little bit to around an average temperature of like, I don't know. I, it's midsummer and I would like it to be about 25 degrees Celsius. And right now uh, it is 17. So heading south is probably what I'm going to have to do. And I'm not going to do I, And I might actually do that tonight via swimming. Um, I should probably find some water to drink first, though. Uh, you can see I've got three bars there uh, where my health is. One of them is the red one, of course, is my health. And you see, if you've noticed, you might have been paying attention. It has gone down. It is actually that's salt water. Dang, can't drink that. Um, it has actually gone down from a thousand. And that's because of lack of nutrition. You actually have five categories of nutrition, and it's basically just the five kind of food types. Vegetable, uh, fruit, grain, protein, and uh, uh, dairy, he says as he stares at the cows blankly. So we got, we got a female, male, and a male. All right, you're dead. Why? Because you only need one male. But I got two of them here, so he's dying. I want his meat, but more importantly, I want his large rawhide. Um, that's the more important bit. And we've got two ounces of pheasant. Joy, joy. All right, well, the sun is setting off in the distance. I need to find me a little spot that I can hide the night through. So I'm going to take the straw I cut. I'm going to turn it into thatch. And with this thatch, I'm going to make me a little space here that is somewhat secure from the outside. Now, thatch is not a solid block, okay? I do not think that just because you put some thatch down that... Ooh, I don't have enough. Get my knife out. Find some grass quickly. Um, just because you put some thatch up does not keep monsters from walking right through it. They can't see you. So they would have to like wander in uh, randomly. Oh great, I hope that's enough. Should be enough. Um, so they'd have to wander in randomly in order to find you. But allow me to demonstrate, it is not solid. You can walk right through it. Now I've blocked it off, they can't see me. This is sand, I can dig that up. Get rid of it. They can't see me, so that's good. And. Uh, I can kind of hide in here. Now, I've got this little 
I think, oh, I do need another piece of, there we go. All right, it's dark in here now. They can't see me. I should be safe, but uh, I've got some meat here. I want to cook it, and we're going to do that. You throw three sticks on the ground, and you take two sticks in your crafting inventory, in your crafting panel, and you make a fire starter. Hold back right click and let it rip, and you can start a fire. Oh my god, and I have no wood. What a fail. I do have an axe. Alright, can I do I dare sneak out here real quick and cut down this tree? Yep, we're gonna. The monsters are on my mini map, they're a little ways away. We're gonna cut down this white elm. Takes a little while, chop the bottom one, and when it pops, you get all the logs. Um, well, that's how you get your logs. And then I'm gonna throw my logs in here and not stand in the fire. Oof. Alright. So I've got some logs in there, um, and we are going to, first of all, cook the poultry, we'll keep our cow bladder, we can use that for stuff. This shouldn't take long. It's cold right now, it's heating up. You see there's a little bar at the top, it says protein war just changed to warm from cold, so that's going to keep heating. going to keep getting warmer. Let's see, it's hot, very hot, and then it'll start cooking. I've got a bunch of beef there. There's almost 10 pounds of beef there out of that cow, which is seems like a lot, but that's not a lot for killing a cow. And the problem, the reason why I didn't get more than that is, and then now it's cooked poultry. It's rare up here in the top. Uh, its description has changed. It's medium rare. Let's get it to uh, like medium well, I think, and then we'll pull it and eat it. But, um,. 10 pounds is not much out of a you know an 800 pound cow and the problem is that I am uh, terrible at butchering things it's one of my skills where is it uh, butcher not very good it's gone up some that's what this little line is um, but I'm not very good at it we're gonna make some torches too while we're here and I'll show you how that's done look at all these feathers so you get a lot of feathers from killing something I got all these bones from killing stuff. We're going to take that hide with me. We're getting that beef cooked up. Now, I like my steak medium rare, personally. So that's what I'm going to cook it to. And then I'm going to take it out. All 10 pounds of it. 160 ounce steak, baby. Yeah. All right. Eat like a man. Oh, 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 oh. Ugh, so hot. I can't hardly eat it. Oh, it's so good. It's so good. All right. Um, you can see there's two bars there. The bottom one is how much it is out of 160 ounces. And the, this green one is how uh, much decay is on it. It's quality, I guess you want to call it. And this is how hot it is. It's cooling off now. So that's normal. But we need to make some torches. And we do that by throwing a stick in here. It catches on fire. Uh, catching fire, lit, and it makes... Makes a... Uh, torch or two torches actually there's another way you can make torches if you have a lit torch you can just right click a stick on it and you'll get one torch but if you do this in the campfire you'll get two all right there we go some green bean seeds we got some green beans to eat and have a little bit of veggie table with them I also have dynamic lighting installed so you can see when I hold the torch things light up and the fire can set you on fire but we're gonna stay right here <clears throat> and I think we need to swim southwards we'll swing around here stay on this little spot well, I guess we can still march southwards we still got land to cover um, but I need to get to um, warmer climates uh, it's just too cold right now and we're we're in pretty good shape I mean the rainfall is good uh, the average biome temperature is seven though seven degrees Celsius not very warm and it's only 11 degrees out right now 
that's not going to cut it. There's a lot of things that won't grow here. There's a lot of animals that you can't find here. I'm surprised I found cows and stuff here. I thought they were in warmer climates. Or maybe that's chickens. I don't remember. Everything will spawn in different places. Now, uh, and I said something earlier about how animals don't respawn. I think I did anyway. Or that it was the last time I tried to record. Um, animals don't respawn. Uh, as far as cows, chickens... Uh, cows and chickens and uh, sheep and pigs they will not respawn okay so they only spawn when a chunk is uh, generated and after that that's it the only way to get more is to breed them and you've got to really work at it to breed them uh, they're, it's like doing chores it kind of simulates realism now this game is not about realism this game is about believability, believable realism, I call it. All right, so it, it's not realistic, it's just believably real. And trust me, it reaches that point. Now I've got an ax, I should probably make some more tools. We'll, I'll show you a little more about this napping. So you got to have at least two rocks, you right click them, and it brings this up. And then you can get your, you gotta do your shape. Now, it's all in NEI if you get the NEI plug add on for Terra Firmacraft. I'm gonna make me a shovel, and it's this way. I come down like that. Boom, shovel head. I just have to add a stick, or you can add a bone. You can also use bone for your handles, too. Sun should be rising soon. There's no monsters nearby. We're gonna start digging this out. Just to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna leave my campfire because no point in taking it with me. I can't take it with me, and it's just kind of cool. It leaves that entity in the world. This campfire. Oh god! Oh god! Oh, that was what you call a uh, a uh, collapse. Uh, the sand fell over, um, and it scared the crap out of me. I thought the wall was coming down. And I was going to die. Because gravity exists in this world, and it will kill you. <laughs> More than just falling will kill you. Um, gravity exists in this world. So, and the gravity will kill you. Now, we're going to do some more heading south, which is this way. And we're going to look for foodstuffs and things along the way to take with us. What is this over here? We got some oats. I'm going to take it and just get the seeds. Um, it's not ready to be harvested yet. Oh, there's something coming. Oh, God. There's definitely something coming. Oh, God. Run, 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 run. These things. Oh, my God. It's a creeper. It's a creeper. Run. Smart move. Smart move. Hold down control. Oh, God. There's a skeleton. This is bad. Skeletons can kill you. Serpentine. Serpentine! Serpentine! Oh, 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 oh. The zombie's still trying to come. I don't know what happened to the creeper, but he's not behind me, and that's all that matters. Things will kill you. <laughs> Quickly. <laughs> and I don't really have a weapon that I can even hurt a skeleton with, because an axe doesn't do much good against something that has no flesh. Get it? So uh, you've got to make like a hammer or uh, what's called a mace. Once you get to like uh, tetrahedrite, I better pick that up. That's copper. Tetrahedrite. I wonder if it's exposed down in here. Um, because <gasps> I thought I had shift held down and I held down control instead. And that makes you run fast when you have this installed. But okay, I'm nearly dead. This worked out really well. See how well this worked out? I don't know. Um, I'm glad I've got smart move. This will help a little bit. I gotta get my shovel out. I haven't made it yet. Wow. Okay. See what I told you? Uh, uh. You kind of see why I put smart move in this? Oof, there. You can, oh goody, there's some free food, but uh, we're not going to worry about it right now. Um, this stuff is uh, 
that's growing out here in the water is seaweed and I guess we will worry about it now because I'm gonna have to go swimming and you can eat it seaweed never grows back um, other uh, other things will um, like those oats I cut now next year in the spring they're liable to grow back but seaweed never does so it, it is a food source However, it isn't a great food source um, insofar as it's great early game because all you need is a knife. It's always ready to eat. You can't. Um, oh boy. Get back up here before I drown. I will die very quickly. I'm smart move swimming right now. Um, but you can't uh, continue live on it for one thing I don't know what kind of resources it gives you as far as food when it comes down to it um, not much I don't think honestly vegetable I assume what does it say yeah it's considered a vegetable All right now when you cut it it cuts off in these little bitty pieces and then what I can do is I can highlight one of them and press s and it'll stack four at a time, but it'll put them all into one stack. And that gives me a supply of food. And I'm just going to take this. This is probably way more than I need. But I'm going to do that because it looks like we're going swimming. Um, so. <sighs> guess where I'm going? in the water um, and I don't even have any water to drink this is kinda bad I'm gonna get probably very thirsty unless I find some fresh land and water cuz well, we're gonna go swimming here we go let's turn my map on we're gonna head for warmer climbs uh, I don't know how long this will take I don't even know if I'll make it I mean you can't starve to death but your health can degenerate to the point where you only have 50 hit points because you actually have um, your five food groups and they go down over time. You can kill and eat squid. Okay, that that is a resource that does regenerate. They will keep coming back. Pheasants will keep coming back. There are deer, there are bear. They will keep coming back. Um, I mean, not real fast. You're not going to probably survive on that forever, but there will be times when that will be useful, especially like in the winter um, when plants won't grow because there are seasons, and you will go through the seasons, spring, summer, autumn, and winter, and it's going to have the effects you think. Uh, plants won't grow, um, trees won't grow, fruit trees won't get any bigger, that kind of stuff, and wow. All right, well, I'll be back, guys, um, once I've spotted some land. See you guys in a little bit. Oh, boy. Aha, me mateys! Land ho! Let's see what kind of a environment we're in here. And it's warmer. But not by a tremendous amount. See how it slowly goes up. Average bio temperature slowly going up. The actual temperature slowly going up. So we found an island at the very least. I don't know if there's land mass attached to it or not, but we'll find out as we get there. <sighs> I am getting tired. Good thing I had this log to hold on to. Using my smart move, fast swimming to go a little bit faster at points. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, God. I've been swimming for days. Okay. Gotta go. <laughs> Alright, what do we got? Yeah, we've got a landmass here. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's go see if we can find some water. Because <laughs> I'm running low. Some green beans. Use my smart move and we'll 
kind of explore this area. Now we're in a little bit drier climate. We've got dry grass now. And we're going to hope that we can find clay. If not, uh, I will cut and I will swim back north and go back to where I was. Um, because I was in a, a climate like this in the last video. I started in a climate like this and I just could not marble. Oh, pretty. Okay. So depending on what kind of rocks are down below are the kind of rocks that you're going to pick up. And I'm going to pick up marble ones here. Ooh, that's cool. All right. Let me look at the map. Hmm. I'm not seeing... Oh, there's water. All right, south of here. I haven't seen any clay yet, and that's making me nervous. Oh, doggies. Now, they're not aggressive to me, but they are to other wildlife. You can tame them. They will follow you around, and as you make them more familiar to you, they will stop attacking everything they see. But right now... They're going to attack everything they see. Come on. Drink it. Drink the water. Why can I not drink it? I'm thirsty. My hand's empty, isn't it? What's wrong with me? Okay. Um, I'll be right back. Let me try reloading. I should be able to drink this. Alright, now I can drink. Normally you can right click on water and drink. Uh, and it wasn't letting me do that. So that was my problem right there. And it's almost night time. Dang it, it's 4 o'clock already. Uh, well, I need water. Alright. Um, my question is though, can I find clay... Um, we're close to where I want to be. Uh, it's temperature right now is 25-ish. Head a little bit further south here as we go. Oh, there's clay. There's clay. Okay, we're good then. Looks <laughs> like I said I was in a place like this before, and there was no clay, kids. And that was bad. All right. Um, well, we we are gonna need to build uh, a place to stay the night because it is getting dark, and I think I see a good a couple of good spots I can choose from. I have a shovel. I still have my shovel, so let's head over here and we're gonna build a little hidey hole. Oh, you know what? I'll show you a trick, a tip from. Oh wait, oh there's the clay. All right, uh, from Shade of Dead. Am I the one who invented this? Of course not. But I've learned it, and I'm going to pass it on to you. And that is clay, because of its properties of what clay is, does not need to worry about gravity. It won't fall. Clay doesn't fall. See? It's staying up above. Now, if this was dirt, it would just collapse right down on but this is clay, so it's not going to do that. So what we're going to do is something a little cheatsy doodle. Um, we're going to take my thatch here. We're going to plug the hole like thus. All right, so they could come down in either of these two spots, but they can't jump over um, that because they won't be able to jump over that. So I've got a little safe spot down here. I also have torches, which I can throw one of these bad boys down. Oof. And see, and we've got clay, and I can show you what clay's good for here while we're resting tonight. So you can make your, you can dig into the ground and make yourself a hidey hole. You try to do this where there's just dirt, you're gonna have a bad time. It's just gonna keep collapsing. I'll even demonstrate how that works here. Um, real quick as soon as I take a little more. Dirt, gravel, and sand, cobblestone, they all react the same way to gravity. Alright, so allow me to show you. So we're going to put a block here of dirt. I'm going to put one on top. And it's going to fall down. Put another one. Fall down. Fall down. Fall down. Now what have I done? 
I've made basically a pile of dirt. I threw more dirt on the top and it spilled out to the sides and like real dirt would. You throw a pile of dirt down, you throw another pile of dirt down, you don't get a really tall pole of dirt. What you get is a wide, slightly taller pile of dirt. And then I can put one, oops, now I can put one in the middle. And that'll work. Because it's got nowhere to fall. But if I were to put one on top of that, that one would fall down and it would go to one of the cardinal directions of this. So it would fill in this spot, this spot, this spot, um, this spot, this spot, uh, the spot in front of it. And like basically widen out some more and let you put one more on top. Um, so there is how gravity affects this stuff. You're not going to be building out of dirt. You're not making a house out of dirt. You're also not going to make a um, house out of cobble or sand or gravel or anything else um, it won't work they can be the bottom block for your wall but they can't be any higher than that because they'll fall down without some sort of support and we'll get into support later but for now um, we've got rocks is that one of them? no I just got this random rock salt rock I got a day site I've got marble all right, well, we'll get rid of that guy tomorrow, but for now, small tetrahedrite, that is copper, and it's got 10 units in each one of those. This is copper as well, same as that, 10 units. Um, there are just different kind of things that you can mine up, but what we want to do is, where's my clay? It's like a brown cube. There it is. This texture pack it looks a little different. But you take your clay, and just like you did your rock, now you have to have five pieces of clay to make anything but we're gonna right click it and it brings up a thing just like this and we're gonna make a few things some pots some bowls and uh, some jugs so to make the pots or vessels they're called just take the corners out and you make this big round you know kind of rounded pot you know with a little hole in the top okay I'm gonna want oh uh, not that because I just messed it up um, what can I make out of this I can make bowls can I make bowls yeah I can make bowls out of this so I messed it up it doesn't matter where at in the clay you make it or it does matter hmm. all right I can't make anything I messed it up I just wasted five clay welcome to the real life I just clicked wrong all right two of those three of those we want a jug now a jug is a little more complicated and like I said this is all in NEI so let's look at jug okay so a clay jug how do you make it like this I don't know why this screen looks all screwed up but um, you take your block and you remove these pieces and you got your little handle here you got your spout and you got your jug and that's how you make it so um, you got to kind of learn how to do it and then once you do it gets easier let me tell you it gets a lot easier and we're gonna make let's see one more vessel if I've got enough clay to do all this and we want another jug because we're gonna want a backup because your jug can break when you use it and we may as well make the bowls um, like I said so do this and you get two bowls we got one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Okay, perfect. And come dawn, we are going to go out and we're going to gather some straw, some more wood, and we are going to make ourselves a couple of pit kilns. And I just stacked my wood up in the log pile and I messed it up. I didn't really want it like that, I wanted it all in one pile. But if you shift right click a log, you can make a wood pile, a log pile, and then you can store your wood in here. This is it. I don't think you can store wood in anything else. You can't put it in a barrel, you can't put it in a chest, you can't put it in anything. You've got to make log piles. A bit like real life. You don't keep your logs in a chest or a box or anything like that. <sighs> We're waiting for Don still. Let's punch this 
out of my way. Well, let's eat first. Let's eat up some of the seaweed. It's kind of a silly food anyway. But if you need it, hey, it's there. Um, it's a good way to eat in the beginning if you're in the right temperature and next to the ocean, uh, which you won't always be. And it's still dark out there. There's still monsters out there. There's a monster right in front of me, actually. So we're going to wait a little while, and then we'll come out and take a look around. This isn't a terrible place to be. I need to find a good supply of water nearby. Um, looks like all the water right now that I found is up north. I see some pumpkins down south there. And in the direction my arrow's pointing, I can see some pumpkins in the ground there. That's good. And... There's water up there, so we'll probably go up that way to build. Um, but we'll leave this as just kind of a place for me to hide if I want to. Um, okay. It is now 5 o'clock in the morning. It's not time yet to come out. And I can climb right out of this, I believe. I don't think I have to break the thatch to get out because I can smart move and go two blocks. But we can, so, oh look, we got slate. Slate clay, granite clay. And this makes a difference. It makes different kinds of, well, you can make mud bricks and you can build out of those. So that is a way to make a beginning home is mud bricks. Uh, you have to put clay, dirt, just plain dirt, a piece of clay and a piece of straw together and you make mud bricks then you have to set them outside and you have to let them uh, heat up but we found kind of where I want to be um, it's almost dawn and when it comes dawn we're gonna go outside and and do some work uh, I'm gonna show how to make a pit kiln we're gonna fire this clay that I, I've molded here tonight and we're gonna continue our journey through Terra Permacraft uh, thanks for watching. I hope you're liking it. I really enjoy it, and I'll see you guys soon. Laters!